So the trick to your quarter end process is it's actually two meetings with about a week in between. So we've gone through the first one, which is the retrospective. This is the refresh. So the refresh process begins literally the day after the retrospective. So the retrospective gives you some of the raw materials, but we need more. We need a bunch of direction that we can then use to eventually get towards the new quarter's execution. So the input is two things. One is the feed forward that comes from the end of the retrospective. And then secondly, and I recommend this is literally the next day, the leadership team tells us what that North Star is. Based on the North Star, we then do a refresh, alignment, and agreement. So, if we take a look at the North Star, the North Star is all about resetting our targets for the next quarter. So, based on what we learned, what are those few top level committed numbers that the executive team would tell to the board or to investors and so forth. And the idea here is set the target so that everyone else can respond to it. Now, eventually when we get the feedback, we may find we need to adjust them, but we're going to start off with a top down, what's that North Star? And then, you know, literally imagine this to be the day after the end of the retrospective. And we're going to give the team a week between when we have the North Star and when we want the response. And that activity is spent with the, each team, each department doing a refresh. And I'm not gonna emphasize this. You've got this muscle built already. This is your standard OKR muscle that you developed when you set up your OKRs to begin with. Like what is that refresh process? The only difference is we're now gonna be doing it based on the feed forward, what we learned from last quarter, and that new North Star. So these two things feed into that new refresh. But again, it's nothing new. It's the practice that you already have. And then from there, it's straightforward. We then present those in a meeting. So I'm suggesting this is a week after the North Star is presented. This is a meeting with a leadership team where it's almost what I call, call show and tell. Each team should present what their objectives are, where they think they need support from other departments, and if you think you need to support them and your name's not there, you raise your hand and indicate you need to be part of that objective. Or if they've suggested that you need to support them and you don't think you do, get your name off the list. But by the time we're done, we should have alignment. We should have alignment on what those objectives are, what are the resources it takes, what are the key results we should achieve. And from there, the next step is obvious. It's like service level agreements between the departments. We stack hands and we agree, this is what we're all committing to work for as a team. These are the targets. These are the supports I'm going to offer and I'm going to receive. And this is the timing. And that becomes the reset for the next quarter. So the second phase takes about a week, a week from when we get the feed forward to when we've got agreement. So in a typical organization, we should have the retrospective literally within two or three days of the end of the quarter. And this should happen within a week to a week and a half of the end of the quarter so that we're quickly reset. Many organizations can compress this. We do the retrospective two days after and we do this two days after that. So within the first week, we're now reset. And part of it is we know this isn't precise. All we're trying to do is get directionally correct so we can get launched and aligned on that new process. And we don't want to consume a huge amount of time in building this out. And the longer elapsed time you have, the more thinking, the more expense you're going to have to set the new objectives. Hopefully this gives you a quick view of what that quarterly refresh looks like. We'd love to share more of our ideas with you. There are probably about 300 YouTube videos that we've recorded that you can find on our YouTube page. We also write a continuous series of blogs about OKR and related topics. Or feel free just to give us a phone call or email me. Happy to have a conversation about any of these topics. Talk to you soon.